And welcome to Mishnah Study Masechet Rubim Perikhat Mishnah Yod. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to discuss pouring water into a ditch outside. Um, let's see exactly how this case is. Rabbi Yezib and Yaakov Omer, Biv Shu Kamur Arba Amot. If you have a Biv, there's this ditch that's Kamur, it's covered before Amot, but Shu Tarabim, right? It's covered before Amot, so it's running before Amot in a Shu Tarabim, and it's covered the whole way through. Shofchim Le Tocho Maim B'Shabbat. You go ahead and pour water into that ditch on Shabbat, knowing that it's going to travel out into the Shu Tarabim, so you're pouring it literally into the beginning of the ditch that's in the Shu Tarabim, and it's going to travel into the Shu Tarabim, but it's going under this um, covered uh, you know, covered ditch before Amot. Why? Because he says it's going to go ahead and it's going to uh, really seep into the ground by the time it gets to, all the way to the other side. So he says, Even if you have a, a rooftop or a hatzer that's a hundred Amot long, you cannot pour it into the ditch. But what can you do? You can pour it onto the roof and it will go drip on into the um into that beam into the ditch itself. Right? So you can't go ahead and pour it into the ditch directly, but you pour it on the side and let it drip through and let it go uh, you know go that way, right? So you're not directly doing it. If you have this courtyard or achsadra is, is more like a portico, city mitzarfim on ba'amot, they're mitzaref, between the two of them, if you have between both of them for amot. Then you don't have this issue again. Remember, if the courtyard is four amot by four amot long, you go ahead and pour it into the courtyard itself, and you don't have to worry about where it goes um, from there.